Hey, it says what? Thanks for stopping by my channel. You know, I really appreciate it when you watch my videos, leave me a like, and a comment, and when you subscribe to my channel. I recently carried my Brahmin Duxbury large satchel in the Copacabana print, the ember color. It is a colorway from a few years ago, and I thought I would talk about it. Brahmin does the Copacabana print every year in a different colorway. Like I said, this is the ember, and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's fun. Reminds me of Old World Miami. Dooney Attic 615 has this bag as well, and it evokes old time Havana, Cuba for her. And none other than DJ King has it as well. All the channels that I mention in this video will be linked in the description, so please check them out. So let me know if you have this ember copacabana print or if you have any of the other copacabana prints from brahmin just love it i'll come up closer so you can get a better feel for it maybe it is an off-white or cream background and then it has the bright red cars with surfboards on some of them. And then the palm trees with this, um, a medium brown, I would say, leather trim. And I don't know if it will, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the trees and the cars are embossed on the leather so it's raised up quite a bit you can feel the design that's what i'm trying to say large duxbury has a um a domed shape and brahmin does a great job i think of giving you a feel for the dimensions of the bag and it has four inch handles and the shoulder strap has a 13 inch drop and i have not adjusted that i've left it as is i like to leave the strap dangling from the back although i don't think i've ever used <laughs> the shoulder strap and it has a slip pocket in the back. Here's a phone case that is three inches by six inches. And it fits almost all the way into that slip pocket. And this design is carried forward all over the bag and on the bottom there are feet the hardware is branded with brahmin and it comes with this brahmin hang tag that has the schooner on both the front and the back that's a leather hang tag with a metal emblem or medallion and then it has a nice wide opening and a light interior with two slip pockets two slip pockets on the front wall and two pen loops or stylus loops or whatever you want to put in there and a key keeper. 
And then there's a large slip pocket on the back that doesn't go quite the length or width of the bag, depending on how you look at it, but it does go almost the entire height of the bag. The zippers are really nice. So what I wanted to talk with you about is the accessories that I choose to use with this bag. Um, mostly I go with this Dooney and Burke Willis wristlet and this domed cosmetic case both in pebble grain leather in the color red um, the leather trim doesn't really match but i don't mind that and i think they look great with my bag but um a while back noble strength gave me this beautiful vintage Dooney and Burke wallet that is a beautiful shade of red. Yeah, it just has the name red, but look at this beautiful leather on the inside. Dooney and Burke. It's in beautiful shape. There's like a coin compartment. And I think this goes really beautifully with this bag as well. And I also like to use my sack cosmetic case with it. This was a gift from Lila and Scruffy. <laughs> but I recently bought this Dooney and Burke small flap wallet in the color Elephant. And I was really pleasantly surprised at how nicely it also went with this bag. It really picks up the colors in the palm trees, which are grays and blues. And I had bought this small wallet to go with this Dooney and Burke Presley bag that was a gift from Tara's Makeup and Handbags. They're both in the color Elephant. But I like that I have options now. You know, I like to stay in my wallet for a long time, so I can switch between multiple bags now, depending if I go with the elephant or the red. So let me know which color combination you like best. I think that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, everyone.